Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Lone Fox. Today I have a new video for you. This is a video that I've actually done in the past. I've only done it one time before, and it is DIYing your DMs. 100% inspired by the Sorry Girls. I absolutely love their content, I love their videos, and I love this concept for a video because it's a great way to interact with you guys. So if you don't know what it is, essentially, over on Instagram, I actually asked you guys to send in DIY projects you might be curious about, whether they be in like a room styling photo, um, a Pinterest picture, an Instagram photo, whatever you want to see, I try to recreate them live for you guys for a fun little chuckle but the thing about it is that yesterday I filmed all four of these DIYs for you guys went home last night to edit the video and there was no audio it sounded like this which is exactly what we didn't want. And I decided that some of this footage could be saved. There is some really great parts where you can actually really see me DIYing and stuff. Even though you can't hear me, I figured I would do voiceovers just to give you guys an idea of what I'm doing for each project. So do keep that in mind. If you're watching and my mouth is moving on the screen and I'm not really talking the same at all, which is probably gonna be happening, it's because I'm voicing over all of this because there's zero audio. I tried to edit it down as good as possible to where it just seems like a normal DIY video from me. I even went through the hassle of filming this entire thing at the ocean. I'm lying. I'm completely lying. I actually just hung up a tapestry on the wall, thought it looked so pretty, left it there, filmed in front of it, and now I can't even use the footage. So, kind of sad, but if you see an ocean background, it's just tapestry. And last but not least, before jumping into today's video, it is sponsored by Squarespace, which is amazing, a huge plus, um, and I'll get to that at the very end of the video. So if you guys stay tuned, watch these DIYs, and let's just get started. This first project here was sent in by Lana Del Reyna. Love your username, by the way. And the supplies needed are on the screen right here. So what I started off by doing was actually removing these little um, hangers that are on the back side of the sign. I opted to go for a wooden sign from Michaels as opposed to a piece of wood from Home Depot just because it was on sale, it was super affordable, and it was already pre-cut for me. So I found this large piece of wood. You can do whatever size you want. I taped off a diagonal section because I wanted to create a color blocking element to this just to make it a little bit more graphic and a little bit more interesting. So basically half of it's going to be white and the other half is going to be raw wood. I know the original inspo photo is complete wood, but I thought this would just add a nice element and if you don't want to include this step you could feel free to leave it out um, and then once you're completely done and it has dried you can just pull off uh, the little piece of tape um, and then you're going to reveal a nice clean line and then just let that dry set it off to the side and we can move on to the next step which is going to be to grab a pencil and a ruler and we're just going to be marking where we want the nails to go so I just marked mine every two inches down on each side um, and an inch in from the edge so um, the ruler was an inch wide, laid it on the edge, and, and then I marked it every two inches. And I used a pair of pliers to hold the tiny, tiny nails. Um, I love these tiny nails. I found them at Home Depot for just a couple of dollars. And a hammer, just to hammer them in all the way down the side. You don't have to do too much force at all. Pretty easy to go in. And then once they're fully hammered down your entire section, all you're going to do is grab a little bit of string, and you can use embroidery floss, hemp cording, paper cording, whatever you want. I just found this black string in the jewelry section at Michael's and I just wrapped it very sporadically, very randomly, and organically. Any other word that I could say that's organic, I guess, um, down this entire little wooden section. And these strings are basically going to allow you to clip on your photos, your mementos, um, concert tickets, passes, whatever it may be, just sort of as a memento wall. So that sort of finishes up this project and you can hang it up and enjoy. <laughs> This next project here was actually sent in by my roommate and we're creating these Venus at floor boxes. These are literally boxes of flowers that cost like $300 to $500, but they tend to last forever. And I wanted to recreate them. So basically what I did was I bought two bunches of roses from Michaels. It was buy one, get one free in the spring floral section. We love that for us. And then I bought um, this little paper mache box at Michaels as well. And you're just gonna need some white paint. So all of these roses are actually different sizes because typically in a little bunch like that, you would want different sizes, but I actually 
actually wanted my roses to be all the same exact size so what I did was I just pulled off the petals until every rose was the same size and I used a total of 16 roses and I went all the way around every single rose and pulled off any petals that were unnecessary and you can keep these for future projects if you want to but I just set them off to the side and then I um, also kept all that greenery as well for future projects because I'm only using the actual rose pieces and once I have all of those roses completely uh, like customized I guess you could say and small I glued them all together and I'm not actually gluing these roses to the box here I'm actually just using the lid as sort of like a section to hold them all together if that makes sense I'm only gluing the roses together I'm not gluing them to the box it's just sort of to hold them together while they dry and then I'm using a little bit of white paint to fully paint my paper mache box so all around the entire edge I'm doing a coat of white paint and I did a total of two of them because you really want this to be nice and clean and keep in mind that you could actually create this whatever color you want I've seen full black rose boxes which is like a black box with black roses in it so you can just spray paint all your roses if you wanted to and create like a very cool minimalistic box as well and then once all of my roses were dry I left them in there for like 30 minutes or so one of them didn't attach so I just glued that one back in quickly you're just going to go around on the inner edge of the box with a lot of glue and then just push your flower cluster in there um, as you can see it did not actually glue to the inside of the lid it just held them together so it kind of molded them while I dried you're going to glue that in there and it looks like this which is so pretty and so beautiful and then I did a nice white coat of paint on the lid and if you wanted to you can go in and actually add your the Venus at Floor logo if you want to print it out and glue it on there, but I just opted to leave it pure white like this just to respect the brand. <laughs> Now, this project here was sent in by KSH.Ivan, and this one is a little bit more tricky. I honestly would not really suggest you guys create it, but I added some safety goggles on, and I also got some latex gloves from the cooking section because there was no safety gloves, and I was so nervous to do this. Basically, we are working with glass, and it's kind of challenging. I have some light bulbs here. This one was one that I found in James's house. I also bought two different light bulbs. You have to essentially start off by taking pliers and pulling off the little metal adapter and then attempting to break that black piece of glass that black little section on the end of the light bulb is glass and it is so challenging to break you guys like honestly the amount of time you spend on creating this DIY is not even worth the outcome I just wanted to put it in this video because I thought it was funny and it was so much more funny with audio I swear because I could not get it to work but I did switch over to a smaller light bulb and I was actually able to break this one open so you have to just use your pliers and keep breaking and keep breaking and like breaking off tiny chunks until it actually fully breaks off on the inside it just creates such a mess there's so much glass there's so much like you can do so much harm to yourself by doing this too like if you break the glass in your hand could you imagine like it's just scary i don't know this diy is a little bit scary but i wanted to create it for fun measures and then i literally broke off the inside piece and it flung across the whole room like i was so scared you guys look at this right here instant replay do you see that it just flung out of the whole glass bottle. Like it flew out. I was supposed to just break off and I was supposed to just like, you know, like tip it over and it comes out, but no, it just broke off and flew out. So then when I was done and I created my light bulb, I only created one cause I was a little bit scared. I cleaned my surface really well, cleaned the glass off the wall. And then I use a little bit of hemp cording to tie around it. And then you could go ahead and leave yourself a long tail to tie it to the ceiling or wherever you want to add it to. And you just fill it up with a little bit of water and put a little flower in there and you are good to go. <laughs> This last project here is sent in by Anna.Rosalind, and this is actually probably my favorite project in the video because I love how it turned out. I started off with a simple lumbar pillow from Target. I just picked this up for $15, and I also got a very thin yarn. This is like a sock yarn, I think, and the reason I got a thin yarn was because I really, really wanted the tassels to have a lot of, like, 
fringes to it. So I started off by freehanding on a chevron shape, which I ended up not even following in the end. I don't know why. It was just a little bit too tight with the tassels I created. So I actually kind of just freehanded on the tassels, but you can create a guideline if you want to. I then use my yarn and cut seven inch sections. So I create a seven inch section and I just like loop the yarn back and forth on each other to create the tassel. So you just do this like mm, probably 60 times, just however much string you want in your tassel. And you're gonna cut all the end loops to create them uh, nice and straight. And then what you're gonna do is loop in your crochet hook, push it through and then pull through the loop and then pull it back down. I know that was a little bit challenging, but I'll show you guys again. So you're going to um, create your seven inch lengths, just loop it all back and forth on each other. This is gonna be your tassel here, folded in half. Stick your crochet hook through your uh, pillow and it, I got a thicker woven pillow so it's kind of easier to. And you're gonna pull the loop through and just pull the tassels through as well and it's going to create your tassel. I feel like everyone knows kind of how to create these little tassels. They're pretty simple and pretty easy to do. And you're just gonna do it in a chevron shape. So you're gonna repeat this process over and over and over again. And I love the fact that I used a thinner yarn because I think it makes it look so much more intricate and so much more detailed. So again, push your crochet hook through pull the loop through and then pull the tails through the loop and you can go through and cut all those little tails as well if you would like to and i just did this all the way down the pillow um you could do two sets of it like the inspiration photo she sent or you can do one set like i did i just wanted it to be a little bit more simple and i love the navy over the top of the white pillow i thought it was a really pretty accent so as you can see it's creating sort of a chevron shape here and then i did finish the rest of it off camera so it ended up looking amazing and incredible just like this <laughs> And that was my audio list video that I voiced over to everything for. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gave you some tips and tricks and hacks and all that sort of stuff to recreate some things that um, I shared in this video. So if you at home would like to send in any DIY projects or any inspo photos, please feel free to do so. You can follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you guys and you can just DM them over. I keep a little like a folder on my phone that has all those pictures in it and you might be featured in the next DIYing Your DMs video. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this one is sponsored by Squarespace, which is so fun. Squarespace is an online platform that you can actually go to to create your very own website, whether that be a blog, a shop, um, a little biography on yourself, a portfolio, an online store, whatever it might be, you can create your very own website using Squarespace. And the thing that I love that I always mention is that they have the best templates out there. Like these websites are so aesthetic, they're so clean, they're so functional, they're so beautiful, and they're so pretty. There's so many features about these websites that make them amazing, but also super simple and very functional, which is great for the people that attend your website. Not to mention they also have 24 7 award-winning customer service so whether you are a musician a restaurant a personal blog a fashion blogger a stylist a photographer a videographer squarespace is a space for you to create your own site so definitely do so and if you would like to you can go to squarespace.com slash lonefox for a free trial plus 10 percent off of your first purchase which is amazing i'll put that on the screen for you guys and also link it at the top of the description box but i hope you guys did enjoy that video and if you did definitely give it a thumbs up i'd love to know if you guys like to see more DIYing your DMs on this channel. I think it's just fun and a little bit more interactive than just a traditional DIY. But of course, these are just going to come every now and then when I want to plug one in. So if you guys did enjoy, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for a brand new content every single week focused on home decor and DIY. I love you all so much and have an amazing day. Bye guys.